I'm studying association of transmembrane helices when they are in the dimer state. In my case, I am interested in understanding the energetics behind that process and how changing sequence at the interface of the dimer will affect the stability, the thermodynamic stability. To know how, how life could evolve, it is important for us to look how life has evolved and come to the current form that we look at right now. So I'm working on a Rubisco protein complex and so what I look at is the ancestral form of the protein and the modern form of the protein and try to understand how it would have evolved through time. I wanted to have something more applicable than answering a foundational research question. Um, so what I currently do is kind of in the realms of protein engineering and synthetic biology. So rather than discovering a why of science, we're taking the why that we already know and we're applying it um, through machine learning and protein engineering to make better outputs for medicine, biofuels, food chemistry, things like that. The main protein kind of at the center of our research or protein complex is the kinetochore. And because they're diffraction limited, recently we developed a uh, expansion microscopy protocol. This method was created from a group in MIT and he originally just said, what would happen if we take essentially baby diaper polymers, put them inside of biological samples, add water and blow them up? And it turns out it works. <laughs> uh, but his original method expanded four times and we were able to optimize it to a degree where we expand the cells 12 times.